Hey, this is Leroy, and today I'm going to be putting in Radiant Barrier. This is Reach Barrier that I got at Home Depot. Um, you, ba you need to order it online, because uh, they typically don't have it in the store, and I'll have the link below. Um, so, why are we wanting to do a Radiant Barrier? Well, your attic in the summertime can get pretty hot. Uh, your roof um, can easily get like 160 degrees. I've actually measured mine at 160. And that heat's going to radiate uh, down into the attic and heat the attic up, which is going to then radiate further down into your um, top floor there. Uh, this is going to increase your cooling cost. In the wintertime, of course, heat is going to be traveling up and this will help reflect it down. Um, ideally, uh, what you want to do is put the radiant barrier over um, the insulation in the attic, um, and if you have a non-ventilated attic like mine, um, on the rafters. Um, so, since I have this issue with the with the um, attic actually coming down about three feet into the top floor um, off the sides there. So I'm going to start uh, with a radiant barrier. It will reflect 95% of the heat. It also is low E, which means that at a given temperature it emits less heat. Uh, so it only emits about 5% of the heat. Uh, or you know, that's temperature is. So uh, anyway, that's what I'm going to do, and let's get started. So here we are up in the attic, and we're going to start by rolling this out. All right, so we're going to now trim it to be about here, give it a little extra space. Hey, so it's uh, been a couple of weeks uh, since I put in this section. This is not quite a quarter of the attic, um, but I have been able to do some measurements and take some pictures. So here's a thermal picture. So you can see that uh, on a hot day uh, when the roof is radiating um, at maybe around 130 degrees, into here. Um, this is in fact reflecting, you know, a reasonable amount of heat back. Um, still, the optimum solution when you put this in is to have um, soffit vents and a ridge vent. Um, so this is something that I'm not going to be able to do right away. In the meantime, I do have windows on either side, so I'm going to look at at um, swapping the windows out for vents. 
um, in the winter time I can put the windows back in. Uh, eventually when I redo the roof I want to do a ridge vent and I need to look at how to do um, venting lower you know to get a circulation because the roof extends um, about three feet into the upper floor so you know this doesn't mean it's impossible to do like soffit vents but it means that it's a lot more work uh, because I have to clear out the balloon and insulation that's in there now I would then need to put some type of venting uh, or, or channels for the air to flow up and then of course you need the ridge vent so um, in the meantime we'll just do the vents on either side and uh, and we'll just finish off uh, what we got going on here because I got a lot of cleaning to do to to do the rest of the uh, attic floor and then put the radiant barrier in so if you like my videos uh, don't forget to click the like button down below subscribe to my channel and we'll see you next time. Thanks.